Hello, everyone. This is Maria Torres. Thank you for attending this training session. Today, we will explain why T1 bandwidth is available virtually everywhere in the United States. Internet T1 bandwidth circuits are available to virtually every home and business in the entire United States. This is true for at least two reasons. First, T1 bandwidth circuits are delivered over the same copper wires used for analog phone service. Almost all homes and businesses in the U.S. have the copper wires needed for phone service. The second reason is that Internet T1 bandwidth is not distance limited. This is because T1 bandwidth data packets are reestablished on average about every 6,000 feet. T1 bandwidth circuits pass through the telephone company's central office, the CO. As the T1 circuit travels between the CO and the location of the customer, all data packets are reestablished on average every 6,000 feet, as illustrated here. Each time these packets are reestablished, they are recreated exactly. Because this occurs at near the speed of light, a T1 circuit can travel 3 miles or 100 miles with almost no degradation and virtually perfect quality. Packet reestablishment is also a major reason why T1 is an excellent transfer mode for voice, telephone service, as well as internet. The reason that DSL, cable, and Ethernet over copper are not available at all locations is that these circuits are usually not reestablished and therefore will degrade with distance. Because telecom providers do not want to provide inferior service, all three of these circuits are distance limited. This will be illustrated in detail in separate videos. One last note. The illustration of the availability of T1 also helps to explain how T1 prices are determined and why T1 is often more expensive per megabit per second, Mbps, than DSL, cable, and or Ethernet over copper. T1 facilities and reestablishment systems cost money. This also helps to explain why distance from CO is a major factor in determining T1 circuit price. The longer the distance a T1 circuit must be transferred from the CO to the customer's business location where the circuit terminates, the more facilities are required. Usually, the more facilities required, the higher the cost of the circuit. This will be explained in more detail in upcoming videos. If you would like to watch other videos which address related topics, please click on one of these green links. Or click the link directly beneath this video to use our patented real-time pricing tool. This pricing tool is easy to use and there is no obligation. Our pricing tool will assist you in checking prices and availability for any business telecom service for your business location, including T1, Ethernet, Fiber, Voice, VOIP, larger circuits like DS3, Fast E, or Gig E, or networking between business locations for any location in the United States, or international networks. Please visit our website at www. FiberlineCommunications.com. I'm Jody Ellen, the Director of Training here at Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us today for this training session.